I got something I need to say about the Philadelphia Eagles and their 2022 NFL draft. So, currently, it is 1.13 in the morning. The draft ended about two hours ago. And uh, on one of the craziest nights of the year, uh, it did not disappoint in terms of being the craziest night of the year. Hold on one second. It did not disappoint as far as being one of the craziest nights of the year. Um, the main thing for this video, I'm going to do one more video talking about the draft in general. Um, I want to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles and what they did. What? Stop. And what they did um, today. And for us Eagles fans, today felt really good seeing that we finally capitalized on our picks. Um, so the first thing we did, I can see what they were trying to do. They were going to trade up. And I, in my opinion, I believe they're going to trade up and try to get Jamison Williams. Um, and then Detroit took him at 12. So I believe their backup plan, I, I confidently believe this is like if plan A didn't work, this was plan B. Um, plan B is they was going to stick with uh, Jordan Davis. I think I mean, he must have been high on their board. It was either him. I was thinking of Kobe Dean. I thought Jordan Davis might slide to a little bit later in the round in the draft. But, you know, he's with us now. So, I'm going to do a little breakdown on him in a minute. And then, with the 18th pick, I'm sorry, let's back up. So, so we gave up the 15th pick and the 124th, 162nd, 166th to get to 15. And we didn't get anything else other than 15. So, there was that. Um, so, Jordan Davis was a result of that. And that was a really good pick. Um I didn't realize how big he was. Like, he's a really, really big dude. So, that helps and that makes sense seeing as how Fletcher Cox is currently on a one-year deal. I don't know how much longer he's going to stay on the team. So, finding his future replacement is a really good thing now. Um, so, hopefully, you know, he figures it out. So, I want, from what I've seen, his conditioning might be a little bit suspect and a couple effort plays. But I, I figured that that was coming from uh, being a little bit tired that they showed on ESPN. But... He's a freak of nature. He ran a 4 7 8 40, which is ridiculous at 340. Um, you know, but he played on a great Georgia defense and he made the most of his snaps when he was on the field. He was dangerous. So it was a, sick, a bunch of dudes from Georgia that got drafted tonight, and it made sense. They were all played great, and Jordan Davis is one of the reasons why that team won a national championship. So that's the first pick. The second pick wasn't a pick, we traded it to. The uh, Tennessee Titans. We traded it to the Tennessee Titans, and in return, we got AJ Brown. So, there's a couple things that I have to say about that. One, I hate Twitter because I saw this before they announced it on TV, and it kind of bothers me a little bit that Twitter knows everything before the actual draft. But it's fine. That was one number one. Number two, I was curious: Are they going to pay him? So we can easily make this trade in my mind. It was like you have to pay him if he's going to trade a first round pick for him because if he's going to do that. You just, if you were going to trade for him, if you weren't going to pay him, you shouldn't have traded for him anyway. But they were smart. He's getting a $100 million deal, $57 million guaranteed, which is not a bad deal at all. Um, and we still have some cap space. So we'll make some workarounds in the future. Um, but we pair A.J. Brown up with Devontae Smith. And I think it's interesting that the Tennessee Titans drafted his replacement with that 18th pick in Traylon Burks. And my initial thought, was okay so when he turns out to be great when Traylon Burks turns out to be great and you have to pay him are you gonna do the same thing again or are you just gonna pay him because somebody will pay these guys and from Tennessee Titans the last couple of years I think Julio's probably going they don't who like who is Tannehill gonna throw to so you got rid of AJ Brown um and now you only have Traylon Burks from what we know um you can't rely on Derrick Henry so much but it's not about the Tennessee Titans it's about the Philadelphia Eagles so the Philadelphia Eagles have done a great job or did a great job tonight, in my opinion. Um, I think like a B plus A minus in that area because um, it was. I believe if they would have got Jameson Williams, that would have been the answer that everybody was looking for. But they got a, a really, really good receiver who had in 13 games had almost a thousand yards. So uh, he missed out on a couple games because of a chest injury, but he still showed up and showed up. 
So Howie Roseman has dodged a bullet today. He has really dodged a bullet today. Um, there's Eagles fans all over Twitter saying, I'm sorry for all I said. I'm not I'm not apologizing or saying anything, A, until the season starts, and B, until we get rid of Jalen Rager and J.J. Arthur Whiteside. And there have been talks that um, Jalen Rager, there have been calls about Jalen Rager. So those trades need to happen now. Get him off the team. I just think he just he needs to go somewhere else. It's just not feeling. It's not working here. Um, JJ Ortega White Sox caught some strays today. Um, from Mel Kiper, which is hilarious. Um, and those were the two monumental things for the Philadelphia Eagles. We only have four more picks. Um, a second, a third, a fifth, and a seventh. So. Um, we'll see. I'm I'm really curious what the second what the second pick is gonna be. But we still have draft capital for next year. We got two first round picks next year. So I'm not kinda I'm not worried about having a lot of picks right now. We have what six picks in the draft. Um well we did what needed to be done. We got a receiver to pair up with Devontae Smith. So that'll slide Quez Watkins from the two to the slot receiver. Um and that'll put Quez Watkins in a, a much better space for him and his abilities and his speed. Um, AJ Brown, I don't know how they're gonna do the one two with Devontae Smith and AJ Brown. But we just got two dangerous weapons out there and I'm confident and I'm glad that they they gave Jalen Hurts weapons. Because they could have easily drafted his replacement this year and then like, okay, figure it out. They drafted pieces or they got a piece for him to to succeed. So I'm curious what the next couple of rounds are going to look like for us. Um, they could easily get O lineman for the future. I thought that they might do that instead of getting trading that pick away after Jordan Davis went down. I thought about that. But, you know, it didn't happen. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. But we do need to address the O line and we do need to address this number two corner position. So those are two positions that we really need to focus on. We really need to dive into, really need to think about for the future. But other than that, if this was one of the best nights as far as football goes, I was screaming and shouting when all these moments happen. I'm proud to be an Eagles fan tonight. But once again, none of this matters until August, September, when football kicks off and we actually get started. That's when it's most important. But this night was amazing for us Eagles fans. Um, Other than that, the Giants... I'm going to talk about the division in this video. The Giants did really, really good. Never mind. Forget that. I'll do that in the next one. But that's all I got to say about the Philadelphia Eagles. AJ Brown, Jordan Davis, welcome to Philly. You will be open, welcome with open arms. And we just looking for for, for success. That's all we're really looking for. Um, this don't turn out like Ben Simmons. Bye.